Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently, again and again until we get it right. Actually, welcome to the range today, so please enjoy the sound of gunfire in the background. I've been working on a project for over a year now to find the most spectacular slow-mo footage uh, when shooting things with, uh, with, with firearms, and this is the result. Uh, I totally enjoyed making it, and I hope you enjoy watching it. So, while we're here on the approved range, um, let's start the bidding with the good old 38 Special, as beloved by detective movies. Rangers live! Next up is the 357. This is a more modern version of the old Black Powder 38 cartridge. It's slightly longer, so you can't put it in the old guns by mistake. Same diameter projectile, but a lot more uh, space for uh, more modern high-powered propellants. So if I don't do 22, people are going to say, yeah, what about the 22? Okay, so uh, these are the rounds I normally use. Um, they have a big hollow point in the end and they're subsonic, so they work with the silencer. Uh, that means they're not going to give a very good splash in all likelihood, so we won't be using those. What else I have is I have uh, the standard lead bullet, um, which uh, is only just subsonic and doesn't have a big hole in the nose and I have the Velocitor which is a CCI round that does about two three hundred feet per second more than the speed of sound also has a hole in the end of it to aid in expansion and that I think is going to give us the most spectacular show possible with a 22. Okay everybody back Not actually too shabby, eh? Next, the Russian 7.62x39 round, as used by the AK and the SKS. Now, we're not allowed to have those in New Zealand anymore, um, but I've managed to borrow this rifle, which is chambered in exactly the same cartridge. It's a bit dry out here today, so um, let's see if we can water the grass a bit. Rangers live! The interesting thing there is that the bullet came in from left of screen, popped in through this little tiny hole here, and then blew out the back part here, all the water going off that way. But the bottle itself flew off that way in the same direction that the bullet had come from. Right. As you can hear, busy day at the range today. Anyway, I let me take these things off, otherwise you can't hear me. Right. This is um, a bolt action 223 rifle, fires the same bullet as the AR. Um, looks a bit like this. Apparently, does a good number on milk bottles. Let's find out, shall we? So, um, range is live. Well, that was beautiful, rainbows and everything. Um, but I think I may have got the camera a wee bit on the close side. Uh, it appears to be all right though. Well, I hear you ask, what about a shotgun? Well, this is a rather elderly shotgun with quite a savage choke, which means the shot will stay in one big cloud rather than spread all over the place. And I have here some uh, 32 gram game loads, which pack quite a wallop. Probably as much wallop as that. Anyway, let's find out. Range is live. This should make a bit of a splash. Cool. 
Well, now that it's all done and dusted, I honestly couldn't tell you which one's my favourite. The rainbow in the 223 was a nice touch. The shotgun was truly spectacular. Ah, which one do I go for? Tell you what, I'll put them all together in a compilation that you'll really enjoy, and you tell me which one you think was the best in the comments below.